Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to finish up my little turtle that we're doing in the Circle of Life by <laughs> the person's name that's there that I'm not even going to try to pronounce. So it's been a while since I have come back but I've been having some work done in our house. They're putting in a floor and they make a lot of noise and I can't film during that time. So here we are. We're going to be doing the little fish, the plants, uh, little guys on this side. I don't know if I'm just going to do one half, do some jellyfish. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to try to finish up the page. And I pulled out the colors that I used in the shell. So we have the orange, red, and yellow that I used in the sunset. We have um, the cream greens, and uh, there's another green, boom, that we used in the brown shell here with the greens in it, along with a little bit of the water, some blues that we used in the water in here, and then the turquoisey colors that I used out here. So some of these little teeny tiny fish their little babies are probably going to have just one blank color on all of them. Then I'm going to pull out some of these colors and color some of the tropical fish that we have going on in those colors. So they'll all be listed below in the description box uh, because I've used them all in the other places. But we're going to try to put some of these colors down out here. I tried a little fish down here, so we're going to stick one up here in this neck of the woods on this side. So um, this is the uh, scarlet red, which is our orange color. <laughs> and we're going to put that in. This little guy over on this side, I think he's got three of those there, three of those here, and a little woof 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 there. And then we will add in a yellow to make him look a little more orangey. And that just kind of brings our colors across here. You can put a little bit of the um, red matter in there just to tip some of these fins and brighten them up a little bit or darken them up depending on how you think about that. But then he'll have his colors. And that just kind of makes us a nice cohesive um, page here if we pull all these colors out into our blue. I think this guy needs a little more color on him. You can see this area down here too, I hope. I think I got him as bright as I wanted him. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, so... I think I'll do that on one of these jellyfishies too. So that is our red. It's going to blend into the blue. I mean, that's, you know, well, it's scarlet red. We'll put in the um, matter lake here on this side. And then we're going to add the yellow on top and make it an orange green will blend into that blue. We bring some of this down on the little frills here. And then we can darken some of those areas up. Okay, then we'll do the other one in some blue tones. So we'll grab the blue. This is the 
Persian blue and the cobalt blue. So I'll do this one in blues. And this one is the cobalt. Then we're just going to throw in the yellow on top of that. That kind of gives us a green look. We'll just go back in with a little blue on this side. That's good enough. They're small, you just want to see them all in there. <laughs> I'll put the blues back on that side and do a few more of these fish over here in orange. So someone up here. And this guy over here, he's nice and big. guys over here. Okay, and then uh, depending on what other color you put in here, you can make them e even more different. So if we do this guy in the reds, And then a cream. He'll still have the orange colors, but he's more of a red guy. And if we add just the yellow to this and no red, and throw a little cream on that. again is going to look like a different colored fish but they're all the same colors that are in here so it all works out we'll do we'll do this one in just the red this is the matter lake Throw in the cream on that. Throw a little brown in him too. This is uh, burnt sienna. And we'll just make this a little brown fish. It's a little baby of that one, it looks like. <laughs> I 
Okay. Uh, what are you? Trying to pull out another color here. Uh, olive green yellowish. We'll make a couple of fish this color. This little guy over here. This looks like a little school of fish. Little ones in here. Little ones out here. <laughs> They're all over the place. Uh, I didn't finish these little guys, so we're going to put um, yellow in these. This is um, cadmium yellow. And there's another one over here. Uh, throw a little orange in that, which is not orange, by the way. <laughs> It's the the red, uh -huh. scarlet red. We'll make you this color too. With a little more of the red in it, the darker red. So how are you all doing? Going with some yellow. Brighten that up. Hope you're all doing well. We were doing great with our weather and then last night it decided it was going to freeze on us. <laughs> Always fun for the plants. Okay, get the gist. We're just going to go around and do that with all the fish in probably these colors. We'll throw in a brown occasionally and a blue occasionally. I'm going to color up this seaweed here too. This is um, May Green. I get bored doing one thing. <laughs> a whole bunch of fish. You can see me doing leaves on a page. It drives me nuts. I mean, they get turned out real pretty when they're done, but this is going to look a little variegated because we put uh, Distress Ink down and we do have some uh, green and turquoises in here, which is kind of neat, so you don't have to do too much to get it back to um, a green because they'll mix and they'll blend, but you also get all, a lot of shading without having to work at it. I'm going to throw in a little chrome green opaque and just add a little bit of darkness in some areas. It's seaweed, I think. And I just want to darken some areas up. And we colored these in the first um, part. They were just done with the greens and a brown. We're gonna darken some of these little flowery things up and we're gonna go around and darken some of this up. You can see that, I hope. We'll pull some of that up into these little fluffles that come out. And there's a little fish. And then I just added, um, when I did the green down here, I just add a little bit of that green that was there. So we'll just do this all the way around the bottom. Ok, 
Okay. Go to the other side over here. This was just done with the distress ink, so we're going to darken up one side of these. Oh, that tiny? <laughs> then we'll bring in the olive green yellowish. I don't know what these flowers are, but they're green. Then I'm going to darken every other one of these in this color, and then we'll put the May green in here too, and darken that up, lighten it up. Have another seaweed over here. Got to do that with the May green. some of that in here. Just pressing a little harder so it'll show up a little brighter when I'm not uh, layering. Just want it to be a little brighter in there. You can throw some yellow in it too. one over here. Her olive green yellowish. Okay, then we'll go in with the chrome green opaque and just darken up the centers of all these. I'm going to put a little brown in here too.
brown, 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 brown. I believe I used the um, burnt sienna just in the very center here. Throw a little in these curly Q things. <laughs> okay. We have to throw a little of the dark in the seaweed here, too. It doesn't end here. It's kind of weird. <laughs> okay, and we'll throw a little of the um, olive yellowish in here too. And then we'll put some of the yellow. Just to brighten it up a little bit here and there. We'll put a little of that on this side too. And in these little things. And then we just have the uh, fish to finish up here. So I did say I want some bluish, these little guys, kind of the... This is um, hmm, light phalo green. I want them to kind of blend in, but I want them to have some color. So little guys are going to... They're too small to put a bunch of detail in is where I'm going. I want them to look like they're part of the picture, but I mean like this guy. He is dinky, dinky, dinky. So. finding all the ones that don't have fins on the top of their bodies and those are all going to be this color. If I can even get the pencil into some of those <laughs> really tiny fish. There's some in the olive ones we did back here too. Those are a little bit bigger. They have two tones on them. And up here. <laughs> You got fans, and these guys don't. And then we 
had a little army of them here. Oh, that one's teeny. Uh, <laughs> gonna have to fix him. I don't think I colored him right. Okay, so those guys are all greenish. Did I get everybody? I probably missed somebody. I know I did. Just because I, I miss them. Um, we're going to throw a few more of... I'm going to make some of these up here yellow. And just so then I could add any color I want to with them. Maybe we'll throw a little yellow in these guys too. Yellow, we'll use that as our base. See, I missed this little guy here. Make him yellow. <laughs> there are a lot of fish here. fishy have color on them. Okay, now it's just into shading them. Like um, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. They all look like this guy, so we're all going to do them with the scarlet red. Forget to color this guy. <laughs> okay, we've got this, this, this guy. They look the same, so we're going to try to do them the same. two guys can stay that color. This little guy down here. And for some reason I didn't get any yellow on this guy either. Boom, 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 boom. We'll do these two. in on some of them with the um, Matter Lake. Give these guys a redder tail. Half of a red tail.
Yeah, I'm gonna add the lines a couple times. I'm gonna have to erase that. I'm gonna give my eraser so where I can see it actually. <laughs> color off of it and then I'm out there and there. That'll work. Okay, so I think they're all got some kind of coloring in them. Pretty sure. Some a little brighter than others, some darker than others. So they don't have to be, you know, all perfect. Or I'm going to take this yellow and put it inside of these guys. Lighten those up, add it going up. There are these little sunshiny things. So we're going to put yellows in all those. Are there any sunshiny things up here? No, those are just swirls. There's a sunshiny thing. Okay, all the swirls are going to be uh, cobalt turquoise. So we just go through and find them. I do like one half of it. The little ones will be all completely filled a bit. And then we got little bubbles. And then we have a, a couple of them there out and about here. Okay, then we're going to take the um, uh, cobalt green and go on the other side of these. And we got some flowery things too. And I missed a fish. Would you like to be a cobalt blue fish? There you go. <laughs> I'm just going to take this and kind of fill any, another fish, white areas that are down here. Just going to run it over. It's the same color as the background. There's another fish. So anything that's down here that's left over white, we're just going to blend into the background here. Okay. Another little fish.
There we go. This guy needs a little yellow in him. Brighten him up a little bit. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Okay, are there only two of these? Uh, we're just going to do them in turquoise. Now, our little fishies in here. turquoise. The little dark turquoise underneath them. Okay. Now I did go through here and I put Posca little dots all over the turtle here. Gonna add a few more in here. Add some big ones, kind of give it a little variation. And I did it across to his feet up here and down in here. Kind of blended it into the little dots that they kind of have already in the picture. I did it on all the little pieces here. I'm just gonna add a few more in there. I'm going to put some down here in his feet too. I mean, I did, but I'm going to add some more. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm also going to do a, like a little splatter effect on this. I'm going to pull this out. We're going to get our paint. is just the um, folk art multi-surface acrylic paint. This one happens to be satin because it was all they had at the store when I bought it. <laughs> and I need a sheet here. One that's cleaner than that. Well, okay. I'll just use this one. Just needs to hold the paint and some water. This is got paint all over it, which means I probably have it all over my hand now. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Gonna add a little water to that. It's just a little dollop here on this uh, piece of plastic. A little water in it. A long bristled brush, mix them together, get a little more water than that. OK, 
Okay. And then we're just going to tap it onto the page. Get some big bubbles in here. You can put a little on the turtle shell if you want. But we want the little bubbles coming up in the water. It'll look cool. And there we go. All done. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I didn't get any of that on the camera, but who knows, I might have. <laughs> and I'll take a picture once it's dry and leave it at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care everyone and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.